Hey guys, I'm going to do a uh, quick how to how to make uh, swamp trees. So, uh, what I did is I went out, got some sticks. You can just go out in the yard, grab some sticks, doesn't matter. Um, you might want to cut them uh, at an angle to make it a little more interesting uh, the way they come out of the water. All I did was uh, I cut a piece of plexiglass. You can use a piece of uh, mat board, uh, any kind of basing that you want. Uh, I like to use a variety of waters, so I like to use transparent, right? And um, so I hot glued them down to the base. Uh, being that hot glue is clear, it works really, really well with this. And I don't have to worry too much about, um, too much about, uh, uh, you know, having to look unsightly. Um, now, I want to cast some ripples in the water, right? And I can use my hot glue gun to do that. Uh, all you want to do, you're going to have strings, but you can always pluck those off later. Um, you can work in solid lines or you can uh, use semicircles. I like to use semicircles, and you want to uh, break it up. And you don't have to put a lot around it. Try and do it where you can see it. The thing is, is you want to smear it a little bit. You see how I'm getting that kind of watery effect there? Like water slapping up against the base of the tree. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Um, some people might want to go crazy and really work it out. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm kind of lazy. I don't need to have it do too much. Like I said, you're going to have some wisps and stuff, but you can see how that looks like water lapping up around it, right? So you just let that cool and you pluck off whatever excess you got. If you've got strings going across it, you can always gather those up and, and pull them free. No big deal. Now, uh, another key element that I'm working with is, um, I suppose this is yarn. Uh, this is what it's called. I can't read backwards in the camera. And, um, and it's like 77 yards of this, so it's like 200 feet. I, you know, I'm never going to use 200 feet of this stuff. But it makes awesome swamp vines, right? <clears throat> now, it's a, bit, it's a bit glossy. It's hard to tell, but it's got a sheen to it. So what I did was I hit it with a spray paint just to dull it up a little bit. See how it's not quite so quite so shiny? See what I mean? So I just didn't want it to look glossy. Now, um, I cut a, a bunch of pieces over here as you can see. But one of the things that you want to do is, is um, with swaps, you want to kind of tie it together. And, uh, and, and get it that, that feeling of, um, you know, just overgrownness. So, and you can use white glue that dries clear. I'm going to use hot glue just because it's easy. Um, you don't need a lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, a little is better than a lot. And I'm just going to put a little dot right there. And then I'm going to find a piece, and I'm just going to... Put it there. So now I got my, my hanging piece. And what I want to do is I want to kind of work this around the piece. So I look for like my next point where I want it to go. And then I go to that spot. You want to have a decent hang. And so then I'm at that spot. And now I'm going to probably end up just going like that. That's a nice good start. Then I'm going to go over here to this little crook here. 
a little bit of hot glue in there. Remember you want to have it you want to have a good hang to it. You don't want it to go straight. You want it to look See how I've got that nice where it's just starting to hang? Okay, now I've kind of connected them the way I wanted to connect them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to start just hanging my pieces. Now you can hang them equally, but I don't want things to hang uh, at even angles. I want to adjust my height as much as I can. So what I'm going to do is start here. I'll go to this crook. I'll hot glue that. And then I want to have two different heights. Right? So there it goes. Now, over here, and, and at this point you're just basically picking things out and hanging them. That's all you're doing. And you don't need a, a, a ton of glue. This is, uh, it's pretty stringy. If you can see the, the glue, just grab some more of the uh, of the material and just pull it over your glue spot. See how it's starting to look nice and overgrown now? That's what you want, guys. That's what you're looking for. Uh, let's go here. And I might have some, some light spots from where I broke the branch. That's not a big issue. I just got a color match that wood with my paint. And then... I just keep on going. And you can see how fast this goes, guys. It's, it's really not a difficult process. It's a very simple process. And it's got really, really stunning effects. I really like how, how it, it turns out. And like I said, it is so, so cheap and easy. It really, really is starting to look really good and overgrown which is what I'm looking for and you just keep playing with it keep messing around with it remember you want it to hang that's a very important aspect to a successful swampy tree hanging element is just key. So let's take a look at it guys. Let's take a look at our swampy tree. Pretty cool, huh? So if you want to see a mini next to that, let's, uh, oh, here we go. You can even give it a bit of a narrative. You can even add a, a nasty that's about to attack them. See how that looks, guys? Then you got your realistic water effects on the bottom. And you can make it really cheap, really easy. So that's how you make uh, swamp trees, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.